Okay, so this is a bowl that I've done. Um, and I just want to go through. This is the Midnight Skies Glaze. Uh, but I've done an edge. So um, at the bottom here, I've got a celadon, a green celadon. And this time I've used jade, it's, which is a bit stronger. Then on the top section there, I've used three coats of black. And on top of that, a thick layer to look like a mountain range of uh, smoky merlot. Then on the rim, I've got cuts out with diamond core. So I've used the jade at the bottom. We're using a pipette in the cuts. Then I've done a smoky merlot rim and then snow in the cuts as well. And then inside, three layers of obsidian. Smoky Merlot over the top where I want the Midnight Skies range to be. And then another coat of obsidian. So I have four coats of obsidian. So it's solid black in the middle. Tomorrow when it's dry, I will put on uh, my um, oatmeal uh, so that I can have where I want the runs and the merges to make the obviously wonderful um, blue to pink. Um, skies that we can get at the top of that. Okay, cheers. So as you can see here, I have put in a thick layer of oatmeal over all of the smoky Merlot on the outside and the inside and I've let it dry. Now we talk a lot about how when oatmeal dries we get all these um, bits lifting. Um, that hasn't made any difference to me. I'm just careful when I put it in the kiln. So here we are, I want to just show you this piece now that it's finished. You can see the rim where I've actually um, put the jade underneath, then the smoky merlot and then um, also snow on the top. So I've got a quite a distinctive mottled rim and you can obviously see the inside with the smoky merlot and the oatmeal on the obsidian, giving me the midnight sky so it looks like a um, like a mountain range. And there we are at, this, at, the, at the sides. Now, interestingly enough, there was a little crack, not a crack, but a stress fracture on this piece that I didn't know was going to happen. But that's fine for me. I don't mind that. But look how wonderful that glaze is there. It is actually just amazing what that, uh, how that smoky Merlot and the oatmeal on the obsidian, what it gives us. And then at the bottom, as I said, I'd used, that looks like actually, I said jade, but that actually looks like true celadon to me. Let me just um, change it round. So that is the underneath with a bit of chattering. Yeah, hope that helps you again with a new uh, new idea if you've not tried the Midnight Skies Glaze.